Hello everyone, welcome back to iRender. In this video, we're going to render a Maya project with the V-Ray renderer. The project will be rendered on the 6RTX 3090 server of iRender. The great news for this server type is the CPU upgrade to AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 3955WX. Now, let's see how fast it is. We first upload data to GPU Hub Sync to transfer data to the remote server. All files we upload will be in the Z drive of the remote server. Now we access the iRender console. Here we create a server image with 6 RTX 3090 GPUs. Notice that we need to set up the server image for the first time only, as it will be saved and reusable. We then boot the server image, it may take 5 to 10 minutes. Once the image is booted successfully, download the remote desktop connection file by clicking the connect button. Enter the credentials to connect to the remote server. We're on the remote server. Please keep in mind that X or Z drive is just a network drive. However, it's optimal to work everything on hard drives, like C drive or desktop to prevent the project from being crashed. So, copy data to desktop before opening it. Now, we need to set up Maya 2019. Notice that we just install it one time, then it can be saved and reusable. Next, copy the project from Z drive to desktop. Open the project. Thanks to the newly upgraded CPU, AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro, the speed of file read is really fast, in seconds. We set up the Maya project to render with V-Ray Renderer, GPU rendering. Ok, now click to render. Remember to set the output path should be in the desktop as well, to avoid getting corrupted. The rendering process is complete. We move the results to Z drive to sync with GPU hub sync. We then shut down the remote server in the iRender console. The final step is just to open the GPU hub sync and download the results to the personal computer. To sum up, we rendered the Maya project with V-Ray Renderer on 6RTX 3090s. 
the first one with the image size of 1920 in 1080 pixels, noise threshold of 0.01. The render time is 17.7 .7 seconds. In the meanwhile, the second one with size of 4094 and 1080 pixels, with the same threshold, and the render time is 1 minute and 5 seconds. That is the end of the video today. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, please comment below. Also, here are other videos that might interest you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. I render. Happy rendering, happy training.